Hey Cyprusians, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the expiry date. Expiry date is one of the helpful features to manage and track the life cycle of the perishable products. So what happens if you just deliver an expired product to your customer? Indeed, that would create a trust issue with the customer for your business. So in such situations, Odoo helps you to use the expiry date which would create a granular control on your inventory. To manage with the expiry date, first you need to activate the load and serial number and you can only manage the expiry date for storable products. And Odoo would let you to set the expiry date, like the number of days before the uh, products become dangerous and you can just set an alert date, that is the number of date, I mean days before um, you will get an alert uh, to remove the product and you can also set a removal time that is you can just remove the products from the sales or inventory before the expiration of the product and you can also make use of multiple functionalities of expiry date such as best before date as well as removal date which uh, would provide a control on your inventory so let's check the functionality of expiry date in Odoo 17 inventory module. To manage with the expiry date in Odoo 17, let's get into the inventory module. And first, we need to enable the lot and serial number from the configuration settings as well as we also need to enable the expiry date. So lot and serial number allow to manage with uh, the traceability from vendor to the customer and expiry dates helps to set the expiry date on load and serial numbers. So we have already done with that and now you can save the changes in the configuration settings and here we are going to manage the product dark chocolate. So here I have set the chocolates over here and you can see we can manage the loads num load and serial number under the inventory tab where we can find a section called traceability. So here I'll be managing my products by using loads and we can also enable the expiry date over here. So as you just set uh, the expiry date, you can just manage with the expiry date. That, that's the date after the receipt and you can set a best date before the expiry of the product, a removal of the uh, product from the inventory before the expiry of the product. And you can also set an alert date before the expiry of the product. So here you can see that as we have set everything as zero, the expiry date, best before date, removal date and alert date will be considered as today. Now here I'm going to set the expiry date of the product as today and it's best uh, before to use two days before the expiry and we need to remove the product two days before the expiry of the product and I'll be setting an alert date of today. Now if you can save this. Later on, you can see that we don't have sufficient quantity, which means we have zero in stock. So to manage with uh, the product, we need to get a complete traceability of the product because which product has moved from the vendor to the customer side. So in such cases, we need to manage with the load. So let's move on to the more tab and you can find the lot or serial number where you can just set the lot and serial number for your dark chocolate. So here I'm going to set a load number. So let me choose, um, okay, this is dark chocolate. So you can just give as TC01 uh, as the uh, load number and you can just save this. And you can see that the expiry date is not today for this product because the, um, I mean, you will get an alert that the product is just expired and the alert is drawn. And you can find that the product is expired today. Now, if you want to just manage with the expiry of the product, like the dates of the expiry of the product, you can also manage it from the lot and serial number. Now, uh, we are going to purchase the item without knowing that this product is expired. So let's move on to the purchase module to manage uh, the purchase of the item because we are going to purchase the item from our all time favorite vendor, who is Azure Interior? So I want a uh, 10 quantity of dark chocolate. So I'll be setting my quantity as 10 over here. Now let's confirm the order. Later on, you can find that uh, we are going to receive the product into the stock and we need to set a load number. So here I'm going to choose my load number, which is DZ01. 
1 and you can see the expiry date is today but we are not knowing that the product is expiring today without knowing that we are going to just get the product into the stock so let's save this and let's validate so we have just in and we um, need to sell the item to a customer because we have received an order from the customer so let's move on to the sales module we have received an order from Audi so you can choose the customer over here and uh, we are going to sell the product to the customer uh, with 10 quantity because Audi required 10 quantity of dark chocolate and um, here you can save this and you can just confirm the order now we are going to just validate the delivery so before the validation of the delivery we need to set the load number because we are going to just pick the product from warehouse stock with the load number dc01 so here you can just save this and you can see the product is not available why this is because when you just want the handbook icon you would be able to find that the product is expired oh my god so we have to change this so what happens if you just try to validate the process even if you know that the product is expired here as you just try to deliver the item you will get a wizard that you are going to just deliver the product dark chocolate tz01 which is expired so do you want to confirm so if you are delivering an expired product to the customer definitely that would create a trust issue with the customer so to avoid that you can just proceed except for the expired one or you can just completely neglect this sales order so here we are just going to proceed except for the expired one so you can choose that and you can change the um yeah load number over here so to change the load number um first let's change the uh, expiry date of the product so let's get into the product uh, and uh, let's move on to the inventory tab and here i'm going to change the expiration date as 50 and let me save this so we can just use this product uh, by 27th of next month also so on 27th only the product will be getting expired now let's uh, stock another 10 quantity of product into the stock so for that let's move on to the purchase module and let's change the um, vendor over here because um, azure has just cheated us because he just delivered or just given us the uh, expired product. So let me change that and let's choose uh, Anita Oliver. Hope she will be a loyal vendor. So let's choose a product which is uh, dark chocolate. So here we require 10 quantity of dark chocolate. So here let's confirm the order. And later on we are going to receive the product. So while receiving the product we need to set the load number and here we can find that wow she is a loyal customer i mean loyal vendor as the product is not expired and you can find that the expiry of the product will be on 27th of next month so let me set a load number for my product which is dc02 and let's save this yeah, now let's validate the process and you can see that the quantity will be updated to 20. So as you just move on, you can find the quantity is updated and the on hand quantity is 20. And from this, we know that 10 quantity is ex just expired one and the other uh, 10 is not expired. Now we need to change the uh, load number of the product because we are not delivering the um, expired one. And to deliver the new product, you can just move on to the order that you are dealing with. And let's change the load number. And here, let's change the load number to the other one, which is um, DC02. And you can just save this. And yeah, let's save the order. Now, we are going to just validate the process, which means we are going to deliver the item to the customer. And we have just done with the delivery. And that's all with the expiration date in Odoo 17 inventory module. So I hope this explanation clarifies how to use expiry date in Odoo 17. And if you have more questions or need any specific guidance, feel free to contact Sign Roses.